pricing and hours are from 9 to 4 currently. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am Gulf Shores, Alabama. And today I'm visiting Alabama's Gulf Coast Zoo. Now this zoo opened exactly one year ago today on this new property due to flooding problems they had in their old property. It was a lot closer to the actual Gulf waters. They sustained major damage in the 2004-2005 hurricanes. They had a triple threat in those years. So this property here that they're at now is larger and further inland. So it's more protected from flooding. Nice, really nice facility. They do not currently have a map available paper-wise. Hopefully I'll see a map throughout the zoo somewhere. I was told there is a circular path around so it's very easy to navigate through. As you can see, I got my hat. If you are unfamiliar with my channel or you're familiar with my channel, you know I always get hats. All the places I go to, last few places, they didn't have hats available, so I was very happy that they had a hat here. $21.95 uh, plus tax. That's usually around what my hats cost. Usually around $25. A little more, a little less but gives me a nice souvenir to commemorate my visit here, my growing hat collection. I have like, I don't know, I gotta have like 70 hats by now. All the different places I go to. Anyway, helps support the establishment that I'm at. I'm very focused on that, especially when I visit animals, places like zoos and aquariums. So let's get started on this property. Excited to be here. Hopefully we'll get a good view of animals. It's a very nice day. About 75 degrees it's supposed to be. Very sunny. So I'm glad I got a hat. Let's get started. Face masks are only required when indoors or you cannot socially distance. I'm basically the only one here visitor wise right now. So I don't think this will be an issue but I always carry my face mask with me for protection. Up in the very front, as you come out of the main entrance gift shop, you got a zip line. It is quite windy because the sign just fell down that was holding the gate open. So this is the main entrance building and gift shop at lower floor. Office is on the second floor. As he does have a carousel. Looks like it will be open because I can hear the music running. So I'm going to take this pathway right here, see where it leads me. Got a turtle in the pond here. And got some ducks too. This is the butterfly house. See a signage here for the butterflies. In case you didn't know how they become butterflies. It's all about bees, how they are very important. Without bees, there'd be no pollination. Got all different butterfly specimens. Now I realize it looks gory, but to already remember that butterflies have a very short lifespan. So these are all butterflies that died of natural causes. But all such beautiful colors. Some of these are moths. Some of these are pretty good size. G 
just about getting into butterfly season. Wow, man. Some of these are so pretty. And butterflies of the world. species we also have some other insects So right past the butterfly house, they got the giraffes and giraffe feeding, which is done at two different times throughout the day. See the giraffe walking up here. And our giraffes. Walked over, he's like, all right, where's my food at, buddy? It's not time for feeding yet, I'm sorry. I don't have anything. I have no lettuce to give you yet. I'll come by later, okay? I promise. You got one of these birds. This is a female ostrich. Hope you have a good day. See you a little bit later, okay? I'll come by back. I'll come back. Second giraffe out here. Hi. It's like giraffes. We got ostrich. It's a cute little one. We got an African Crescent Porcupine. Let me get two of them. That's actually the closest I've ever gotten to a porcupine. Usually they are behind some sort of glass. It's nice to get a lot better view of them. Some people that live out in the country or wooded areas, you most likely see these guys out in the wild. So if you have dogs, you definitely want the dogs to stay away from these guys. Now a lot of people assume that the porcupines shoot their quills. That is not actually the case. The back end to the prey or enemy rather. And the quills are hollow so they break off. It doesn't hurt the porcupine, but it sure hurts the animal that got stuck. This is really nice. Recreation of a African marketplace. It's the restroom location. Here we got some Hamadreus baboon. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Enjoying a stick. All right, we've got an African pied crow. Looks like there are two. Hi Crow, how are you doing? Hi Crow. I feel bad just calling him Crow, I don't know his name. It looks like they're paying Fletch. 
playing fetch. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Someone's having a ball. Ah! Playing with the ball. Got lots of space to climb. And a nice tire swing. This guy's still playing with the stick over there. Alright, this is another habitat. Get a water view. Alright, African gray parrot. Hi pretty bird. making lots of noises. Some of those were me. Hi, right, pretty bird. I don't like their red feathers in the back. Got a black spotted leopard. Just relaxing right up by the fence. How are you? Hi. I don't expect these animals to talk to me, so don't think I'm crazy. I'm just being polite. You are such a nice looking cat. Got some water and a little waterfall. There's stuff to climb on. You are a gorgeous cat, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, we got a Eurasian lynx. And there's two in here. You got one here. You got more of a tannish colored one here. On the far right hand side. It's nice to see them all out. Just relaxing, people watching. Next up we got a clouded leopard. Got a nice water feature. Apparently the clouded leopard is right here in its little dome. You can just see him. So I'm gonna check back a little bit later, see if he's up walking around. Additional restroom location is directly to the left of the clouded leopard's habitat. Got African lion. Here's African lion's habitat. When a lioness was just laying here, when I came up and said hi, I guess I scared her. She actually ran back to her entry for her nighttime habitat. So I'm not going to chase her around and stress her out. I'll come back a little bit later. Alright, we got Serval. That is another very, very cute cat. Nigma on some grass, looks like. All right, we got some Reeves Mutt Jack Deer. Don't want to scare these animals. Oh, that's so cute. Such a cute looking deer. We can have an old style car ride that goes around the camels. Got a dromedary camel. Also have a Watusi. 
right, Kendall's having a bite to eat. This is the one hump camel. There's our other camel. You can see the Watusi cattle's out. Alright, Bengal tiger. And this is what is inside. You can see the window where I was on the other side. This is a Bengal tiger. Very, very nice. Alright, got a nice view of the lemurs. Got red ruffed lemur and black and white ruffed lemur. Boy, look at all those lemurs. He's got his tail in the water. Nice that they all get along. When they're cooling off his tail. <laughs> all sorts of stuff to go and climb on and hang around. And we got ring-tailed lemurs. See this guy. I'm sure there's more than one on this island, but it's happened to be the only one that I saw from this vantage point. Looks like they are constructing an aviary. We're doing some major maintenance work on it. Got two lovely macaws. Not mistaken, these are scarlet macaws. Very pretty birds. Got some parrots. Some other macaws. Got some yellow footed tortoise. What's up, guys? I do like the tortoises because I've got a tortoise at home. I mentioned this before in several of my videos. Got a Sakuta tortoise named Sheldon. He's about five years old now. Another macaw here in the box. Well, partially in the box. Got the bear's playground. Let's do gem mining. This is an upcharge. We do have a trackless train ride in this area. We'll be checking out the barn here next with all of the barnyard type critters. I just purchased a feed cup for these animals here for two dollars and I do get to keep the cup. The barn here opens at 10 o'clock about five minutes from now. I do have my face mask on as you see. I'll be in close proximity to other guests as other people are going to be coming here to feed the animals. Got some goats. That's a fuzzy goat. Wow. Nice little goatee over here. Got a piggy. Got a really cute pig. Like his little spots. Got some sheep. Back a bit cheapish, don't Around the corner, I found some bunny rabbits. Oh, well, bunny rabbits. Had a bunny rabbit years ago named Spex because he had little specks on his white fur. It's more of my sister's bunny rabbit, though. I still like bunny rabbits. And we got some llamas. Llama, llama, llama. White tailed deer. Keep it cheap. And donkeys here. I don't see Shrek. 
I'm sure this poor guy hears that all day long. There's a cousin food for the donkey. Here you go, baby. Don't bite my fingers. Thank you for not biting my fingers. Hi. How are you doing? We got some Linnea's two toed sloth. Here. We got some of the lemurs that we saw through Nemo Island. Oh, my Cody goats. All right, we got Red River Hog. There's our Red River Hog. King in the mud. All right, we got Bobcat. All right, I do not see Bob out at the moment, so he's probably still inside his little house. So I'll be come back a little bit later. Hopefully, got to see him. I already have a few statues of tortoises. However, further back, there's real tortoises. Yeah, so these are red kangaroo. And we got some kangaroos. Yeah, for the additional fee, you can have a kangaroo encounter and feed these guys. Not only feed, but interact and pet these guys at a place in Kentucky called Kentucky Down Under, if you would like to look for that video under my zoos tab. That's quite the experience. That's such a cute little guy right here. Looks so comfortable. Hi, <laughs> Maddie, remember? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, hand good sanitizer. Job. Oh, we got a gopher tortoise. Hey, buddy. Cute little one. All right, American black bear. Here's his little cave. Wow, that's a beautiful bear. As you can see in his habitat, there is a reproduction of a campsite something that real campers have to watch out for. If you are out camping somewhere, even at designated camping sites where black bears are known to be around, you want to be very, very cautious, especially with your food. These guys have a very good sense of smell and they will find your food. And there's an excellent possibility the bears will inspect your tent. And they won't be nice and neat and use the zipper. No, they'll just rip it apart. All right, Timber Wolf. Wolf is underneath the little boardwalk or cover. Not really a boardwalk, but you know what I mean. You got another nice, pretty one in the back. Much better view of this one. Definitely like the Wolfies. And there's also a third one right over here by their evening habitat. This guy's got a nice burrow they can go into and water feature. A nice stream that empties into the waterway here. Alright, we got some brown lemur. So we saw red rough lemur, ringtail lemur, black and white lemur. We get the brown lemur. Ooh, cute little fuzzy one too. Oh, I got some capuchin monkey. All right. Having some breakfast. You are so cute. Hi. These guys are very inquisitive and they are really cute. Are very curious also. 
Get a little chattery one here on the ground. Across the path is another habitat with more white face caption. These look like the adults. The other ones in the other habitat seem to be younger. Without seeing a driver's license, I don't know for sure though. Wolfie up walking around now. Hi Wolfie! Wolfie! So we got some mountain katamundi. Right, so I do not currently see the mountain katamundi. So I'll check back a little bit later. Might be temporarily off habitat for some reason. We got Boba Tree's Swamp Show. All right, so swamp shows are on hiatus until they get the swamp cleaned up. All right, so the American alligators are currently off habitat as you're getting the area cleaned up for them. All right, American alligator. All right, so the alligator is across from the swamp area. This is in a temporary holding area, I'm guessing, or a secondary area, until the swamp home is suitable for him to return to. All right, so as I mentioned earlier in my video, the zoo opened exactly one year ago today. And as you can see from the construction, they are still actively working on the zoo. It is an ongoing process building new habitats for all the different animals that they house here. Alright, I'm officially very happy. My favorite zoo bird, the laughing kookaburra. Oh my gosh, I just love these birds. Just from the look of them. I don't know, it's just something with the, the way they look. I've been lucky enough to be by Laughing Kookaburro and other zoos where they were very, very chatty. Such cool looking birds. Alright, Coolest Springs out back. You have another playground here, a little bit bigger than the other one. Lots of slides and stuff for the kids to climb on. Do have a restroom location right here. They do have a food truck which is not open at the moment. Not sure if it'll be open today. This island has spider monkeys. A couple of geese here in the water. Have a nice conversation with each other. The spider monkey keeps moving around a lot, but that's him right there. These guys are very chatty. So there are staff members right here. How you doing? No, I was just saying hi to you. <laughs> doing good. There we go. There we go. Finally walking around. I'm moving around. You see the other one? Sorry, it's very windy. Alright, so this is the pricing for the safari rides, $5.95. The other side view of the Watusi habitat. And they are still inside their little barn. Don't seem to want to come out and play and say hello to everybody. Another cute little turtle. Or a tortoise. This actually looks like I still cut the tortoise because I can see his little spines on his front legs.
and again it is more of a greenish color so if you know what type of tortoise this is leave a timestamp description in the comments down below squirrel monkeys now the squirrely monkeys came running over when they saw me that nice hi how are you Squirrely monkey down here. Yeah, this little. Cotton top tamarin. Alright, so the cotton top tamarin are currently off habitat. According to the signage here. So this is what they look like. We got a common marmoset. Right here. I'm trying to be careful so he doesn't go running in. Super, super fast. A little fuzzy. Those coppery TT. Wow, we how fuzzy they are. Fuzzy, wuzzy, wuzzy. Cute little scrolly monkey. Alright, so I walked outside from her to this building. Now I'm going to go inside. Now we've got a red footed tortoise. Okay. Oh, it's cool looking. We've got a three toed box turtle. This guy's got a really nice looking habitat. Right here, underneath his log, or partially under log. So a nice view of him. We got gopher tortoise. So a couple of bigger guys of these outside. He's cute. This is a green iguana. It's a very invasive species that are all over the southern portion of the state of Florida where I am from start out as pets they're very destructive just like the pythons that are down in the Everglades these guys eat all the vegetation and compete for resources with the native wildlife so while they're cool to look at they're very dangerous for the state alright we got a Dumeril's boa Second habitat with a smaller dumbbell's boa in it. All right, we got desert iguana. Oh, he is cute. He is really cute. Look at that. I like that. All right, milk snake. This guy's got a really nice habitat here. Got bearded dragon. Go. This guy must have shaved because he doesn't have a beard. It's a California king snake. And up next is a spotted python. Rhinoceros iguana. I think I scared him because he ran around to the back. Cute though. All right, Colombian rainbow boa. Oh yeah, look at that. Very cool looking snake. All right, we got yellow anaconda. There's a yellow anaconda. It's partially in the water. And another red-tailed boa. 
So red tailed boa is there on the corner. And the last time I saw a yellow anaconda, he was very, very skinny. He was swimming around in the tank of water. So this is much larger. Oh wow, we got a corn snake. Oh wow, that looks so nice. We got a Texas rat snake. It's got a lovely habitat. That's another white looking snake. Got blue tongued skink. Look at this guy. Looks like he's sleeping. It's a very popular in the pet industry ball python. It's got a very nice habitat. Compared to the reticulated python, these guys don't grow quite as large. And they're much easier to manage. Got Borneo short tailed python. And I was looking all over for him and I actually found him partially buried. That's just a portion of the snake. The rest of him is buried under his vegetation and the elements of his habitat. Got a couple brave people. Doing the zip line. Alright, so the method and cut the Monday are indeed in their habitat. It was pointed out to me they were up here in this box. So there's two of them and they are both taking a nap. Very cute and fuzzy, which I like. Wolfie's still sleeping. It's like a typical doggy dog. Got a swan down here in the water. This guy's got all sorts of water. And there we go. Much better view of the white swan. Alright, so I made my initial walk through the zoo. And I realized that I forgot something. I made a promise and I totally forgot. I forgot to come back and feed a giraffe. Unfortunately, I completely forgot about the giraffe feeding. I'm so sorry. Don't be mad at me. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know I promised you. If I had some leaf lettuce, I'd give it to you right now. I swear I would. I broke a promise. I'm really sorry. Poor guy, he's just give me the look. You forgot about me, man. How'd you do that? I'm really sorry. This is such a nice zoo. I was enjoying exploring it. I'm sure other nice people gave you some food. Right? Did you get some less from other people? I'm sure you did. He's still looking. Am I drinking my Pepsi? Do I drink? No? Alright. So during my first walk through, this portion of the tiger habitat was inaccessible because staff were in here cleaning it. But now I can see two of the tigers. Well, laying down taking a cat nap. You can see where those people are on the other side. I will get a better view from the other side, hopefully. Came back to the African Pied Crow. They were very chatty just a second ago. And this is the other side of the 
first habitat that I showed you, and it's the same tiger that I showed you earlier. This happens to be up on his little platform now. So looks like they have a total of three tigers. Alright, so I came back for the Eurasian Linux. Hoping to get a better view. But he's just sleeping in the back now. We got Clouded Leopard. It's a young Clouded Leopard. We are currently working on introductions between Belle, our resident Clouded Leopard, and Aurora, our new Clouded Leopard. You may only see one Clouded Leopard on exhibit any time, or adjust to her new home, and Belle adjust having a friend. So I believe this is Aurora. The new clouded leopard. Hi baby, how you doing? This is the lioness. She does not look happy to see me. Again, I think the camera scares her. I was trying to talk softly to her. And right before I hit record, she gave me a nice warning roar. Very beautiful. The big cat kitchen. I came back for the camel. I've been trying to get you a view of the Watusi all day long. And a cat moving around and going back inside its barn. So this might be the only view I'll be able to get for you. That's the other side view of the first tiger we saw early on. A better view of the white tiger. Such an awesome looking animal. Here's the other tiger. It's a beautiful breeze right now and it feels so nice. All right, here we go. These giant horns. The other one's around the back. All right, finally got a better view of the ring-tailed lemur for you. I came back to this area a couple different times. Just a first time I've actually seen him just chilling out on the hammock. That's the view of the geese. Make sure there's one in here on the front is laying an egg. Alright, so exit goes through the gift shop, which is also the entrance. Alright, let's just give you a quick overview of the gift shop. Lots of different drinkware. All their shirts. This is right where I got my hat. And of course, they got different size plush. Plush all over the place. Toys, carry bags, backpacks. Different books, activity books. I really like the look of the gift shop here. And these are very popular with school groups and church groups and the like. We do have some cheaper items here for the kids. Alright, so across from the gift shop outside you gotta get to the entrance for Safari Club, Gold Shores. Now this is not a snack bar style eatery. This is a sit down restaurant. So I do not want to go in and bother people. All right everybody, that was my visit to Alabama's Gulf Coast Zoo in Gulf Shores, Alabama. I had a fantastic time here, I really did. 
one year anniversary today that this place opened up on their new location. There was just a few animals that I did not get to see because they were off habitat. Other than that, I got to see everything. So if you like what you saw, give the video a nice thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed the video. Leave some comments down below. Thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. It is growing slowly, but it's starting to grow. More people are noticing my videos as I've gone to at least 45 zoos in the country so far. Lots more to come. I am trying to do a new video each week of this year. So 52 new videos is my goal. I do have another large road trip coming up in May. So be sure to keep track of all the places I go to on my community tab. I list all of the places that I'm going to and am currently at. And news and updates are posted to that. I do not currently have any other social media besides YouTube because basically I don't have time to constantly monitoring Facebook and Twitter and all the other stuff. And I'm not a big fan of those anyway. So my community tab is my information area for you. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you're not already a subscriber, if you like zoos, theme parks, roadside attractions, and aquariums, then please subscribe. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!